Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft data pack tutorial. Now that 1.21.5 is out, I'm having to go back and remake all of my old tutorials for this new version. And going forward, I think I'll only plan to do updates for major events, so 1.22, 1.23, you get the idea. As well as any updates that may have new revolutionary technology for data packs. And now that I'm using DaVinci Resolve, you can maybe expect the editing on these to be a bit better, although I'm not promising anything. I'm not a great editor. But without further ado, this is how to make custom advancements in Minecraft 1.21.5. If you've watched my tutorials before, you'll know the drill by now. Find your world, click on Edit and Open World folder. Once you're in here, go to Data Packs, and we'll make a new folder for our data pack. I'll call mine Tutorial. I'm going to be opening this with Visual Studio Code, and I am running the Data Pack Helper Plus extension along with Spyglass. Now, to make this a working data pack, we need to create a new file and make this a pack.mc meta file. And here we need some curly brackets, pack, some more curly brackets pack format and we have a new pack format now which is 71 comma and on the next line we will have a description which i think i'll just leave blank control s to save and we can close this next we need to create a new folder called data and data we need our namespace so i will put tutorial this cannot have any capital letters or spaces in our namespace, we need a folder called Advancement, no S. And in here, it's nice to keep all your tabs in separate folders. So I'm going to create a new tab called Custom. So I'll make a new folder for that. And now in here, we need to start off with a root.json. This is the file that will create our new tab. And to make this tab, I will use a generator. This generator can be found at meso.github.io. We will be using this advancement generator. And if you don't see it here, you can go to all generators and it should be right here. Once you're in here for the new version, make sure you switch your version to the version you want to work on. And now we can get started. We will add a display. Our ID will be the block or item that shows up in our tab and in the advancement. So I'm going to use a command block here. Let's say we want it to look enchanted. We can add some components. And down here, instead of giving it an enchantment, I'll just give it an enchantment glint override and set that to true. We can ignore count. For title, we can put anything, so I'll put custom, same for the description, so I will do a custom tab for new advancements, just like that. The background links to a texture file, so if you're using a resource pack, you can add in your own custom texture for this, but I am just going to use a netherite block. The frame is the frame that goes around the advancement in your tab. You have task, challenge, and goal. So I'll just use a task for our default one. And for our root, you probably want to turn off show toast and announce to chat. The announce to chat is showing in the chat when the player gets the advancement. And show toast is the tooltip thing in the top right. So like I said, I'll set both of these to false. But we can leave hidden as default, which is false, because we don't want this hidden. Parent should be blank for your root. And finally, we have criteria. Usually, I will just add one. And when I do, I can call it trigger. And we will add a criteria. And in here, for our root, we can just set it to tick. I will go over some of these later. Once you've done that, click down here, hit Control-A and Control-C to copy that. 
And back in Visual Studio Code, we can paste this entire thing into our root. Control S to save. Switching back to Minecraft, if we close out of here and start our world, and if we open our advancements, you should see we have a custom tab. And if I give myself another advancement, so advancement, grant, myself, only, and I'll just give myself a random one. You can see they are in two separate tabs, and we have it look enchanted. If you hover over it, you can see our description. Behind it here, you can see the frame, and in the background, you can see the texture we chose. So what if we want to add new advancements that branch off from this? Back in our custom folder, we will add a new file, and I want to call this return underscore trip.json, just like that. And I'll show you how to create this now. So to start over, you can just come up to these three dots and hit reset to default. My idea for this is that this is an advancement you get for coming back from the nether to the overworld. So I'll add a display, and for the icon, I'll do a grass block. I'll leave the components blank. For the title, I'll do return trip. And for the description, I will put return to the overworld from the nether. Just like that. And background, we will leave blank for this one. That's only for the root. But we can set the frame. So for this one, I think I'll do goal. We can leave all of these blank as these two default to true. And for our actual advancements, we want these to show up. But our parent does matter. So for this, we need our namespace, which if you remember for me was tutorial, colon, then the folder we made, which was custom, and then slash, because that's a folder, and then our root. So root, just like that. Criteria. Again, I'll just name mine trigger. And for this trigger, I will find changed dimension here. Now, changed dimension, if we add some conditions, you can see we can choose a player. We can get some NBT or something that we want to matter. But I don't need that. All I care about is from, so our dimension that we're coming from is the nether, and 2 is the overworld. And if you want, you can even add some rewards. For example, we can have it run a function, we can have it give them a recipe, give them experience, or even give them loot if you have a loot table. But I don't want that. But one thing to be sure of before we copy this over is that we don't want an empty requirements field. So if you see this here, make sure that you delete it along with the comma there. And now we can copy the whole thing, which we can also do by hitting this copy button, and we can paste it into our return trip advancement. Control S to save. And in Minecraft, if we do slash reload to reload our data pack, we can open our advancements tab, and you can see our advancement here, but it's obviously incomplete. So to do this quickly, I can do slash execute in the nether, and we will TP ourself to our coordinates. This will TP ourself to our coordinates in the nether. And once we're in, we can do the same, but for the overworld. And you can see I got return trip here, and it appeared in the top, as well as appearing in chat, which is what we chose. Now, before I end this video, I think I should go over some more of our criteria here. So, some of the most common ones you'll use, we have any block use, which if we add a location in the conditions, you can see a bunch of checks we can do. We can check what tool we're using, we can check our scores, we can check what the block is, and we can even do a location check. Another one that could be useful is consume item. And obviously, we can pick what items we want to consume here. 
So let's say they eat an apple, and we want them to have to eat four apples. You have some useful things here, like using item. Player killed entity, player hurt entity, placed block, that sort of thing. If you would like to give a player an advancement if they have a certain item in their inventory, up here we have inventory changed. And in here, we can put in the items that we want them to have. So the more of these we add, we can say we want them to have an acacia slab as well as an acacia fence. And under slots, we can even choose like how many slots we want full, how many slots we want empty, that sort of thing. And with advancements being able to run functions, I'm sure you can see how advancements could be quite useful for detecting things. And if you would like to show off anything you make using advancements, or really anything to do with Minecraft packs in general, in the description I will leave a link to my Discord server where we have a finished packs tab, where you can leave any of your finished packs that you would like me to check out. And if this tutorial was helpful to you, please consider subscribing. It's one of the best ways to help me out, and it's completely free. But with that, see ya!